How's it going guys? Welcome back to another Pokemon Scarlet and Violet Wi-Fi battle. Today we have the Floatzel team once again. If you want to use the team, use the code at the top right corner of the screen. There'll also be a copy and paste for showdown in the description. And please like and subscribe for more videos like this one. Okay, today we're going against Instinct from the Discord server. Go ahead and join the Discord server. It's the best place to go for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet Wi-Fi battles right now. Looking at the teams, he's got a very powerful looking team. I think Grimmsnarl is definitely going to be the lead so they can get the screens up and stuff. So I might just anti-lead Grimmsnarl with the likes of my Haxorus potentially. If we go Terra, Terra Steel into the Iron Head, could do a lot of damage. Um, we could also go with the Floatzel lead just so that we can um, f uh, taunt it before it can set up the screens fully. Um, but then it could potentially Thunder Wave us, so we've got to be really careful about that. Might just lead off with Goat and um, just start stacking up Hazards because it can't taunt us because we're a Dark type. Um, I think that's the best bet, to be honest with you. I really think that's the best bet going with um, the Tinglu. And the battle begins, so Instinct over there is going to lead off with Cynthia, which is of course the Garchomp, as we led off with Ting Lu. So Ting Lu doesn't really care about the Garchomp too much. We can definitely do something here um, with the hazard stacking and stuff. They're probably going to do the exact same thing, to be fair, so it might not even be worth it. It might be worth just going straight into Corviknight and defogging away and stopping them in their tracks. Um, they don't have a defog blocker in Goldengo, so that's always useful. Um, they do have a rapid spin of those, so that's why I'm kind of inclined not to set up hazards just yet and save my Ting Lu for later. So I'm going to go into Corviknight. There's no point setting up hazards, like I said. They're just going to come in and rapid spin them away anyway. Um, and then, you know, we want to defog away the hazards. This Garchomp's going to set up on us, so we'll be, we'll go into Corviknight. Seems like the best play. Seems like the best play, to be honest with you. So let's see what they're going to do. They go for a Stealth Rocks. Of course they go for a Stealth Rocks. Now, they're more than likely not going to fire off the spikes because obviously I'm going to defog. So I'm probably going to see a uh, Dragon Tail, but that's fine because it potentially could lead us into a Floatzel drop in. Um, I'm going to go straight for the defog. If we outspeed, we know they've gone for um, a Dragon Tail. They're going to withdraw. Okay, where what are they going to go into? Electros or the uh, Cerule Edge, maybe? Cyclozar. Interesting Cyclozar's coming in. So I wonder why it's going Cyclozar here. So they probably want to get a nice and powerful Shed Tail off into something else. Um, I have no idea why Cyclozar's wheels are sticking out like that a minute ago, but it's whatever. Um, I could either go for a Body Press and take it out if I had it, <laughs> which I don't. Um, I'm thinking of going into the Brave Bird. I think Brave Bird's a good option, just because it's going to hit everything on their team, um, except from the Electros, and hopefully get rid of the Substitute. So we'll do... I think U-Turn's probably better, actually. I think U-Turn's better here. Um, they go for the Shed Tail, as expected, which is absolutely fine. Now, we do have ways to handle this. Sakta, of course, has got Citrus Berry. I don't see much point in the Citrus Berry because you're just going to get a Regenerator buff anyway from switching out. So I like to put heavy duty boots on my Cyclozar just because it's like a rapid spinner, isn't it? So it's like, you may as well have, you know, a hazard immunity if you're going to be a rapid spinner, right? In comes Purple Hulk, which is, of course, the Grim Snarl, as it's got a weird looking hand. Uh, we go for the U-turn. Hopefully it breaks the substitute. That would be ideal. That would be the ideal situation. Unfortunately, it looks like it doesn't, which is a shame. Um, I was hoping since it was neutral, it would, um, but obviously it doesn't in this instance. I'm going to go into Skeledurge, um, just purely for the fact that we can go... Um, purely for the fact that we can go for Torch Song, which hits behind the Substitute. That's what I'm thinking. So we're going to Skeledurge real quick. There we go. And uh, I don't want to Terror yet. Um, because I want to, you know, I want to catch something off guard with that. So I'll go for a Torch Song anyway. And um, they go for a Light Screen. That's absolutely fine. I'm not really too fussed about that. Because I'm just going to stack up Torch Songs now and break through you. Um, that's absolutely fine. So we go for a Torch Song real quick. There we go. Hits through the Substitute, which is amazing. Boost the Special Attack. And we get a Throat Spray after that, which is going to boost the Special Attack even further. And then we can go for another Torch Song. Let's, keep go Let's just keep nailing into it. Let's just keep nailing into it. I see absolutely no reason not to. So they go for a Parting Shot, which is fine by me. Absolutely fine by me because I'm still going to get a neutral hit. No, it's not even neutral. It's going to be a plus one Torch Song on something on their team. And the only thing they can really bring in here is Garchomp or the um, Cyclizar. In which case, we can just go straight for a Terra Fairy and blast them away. Slowbro comes in. That's fine. I can handle Slowbro because we're going to get another special attack uh, boost from the Torch Song. Which should mean that we can um, get some really good damage off on this thing with the Shadow Ball the next turn. 
Um, I see absolutely no problem with this situation whatsoever, to be honest with you. Um, as uh, this next turn, I'm just going to get straight for a Shadow Ball, like I said. Should do a lot of damage to the slow bro. Might even KO. Might even KO. There we go. Go for a Shadow Ball real quick. We do outspeed because it's a slow bro and they are slow, hence the name. Shadow Ball nearly KOs, which is absolutely amazing as they are able to go for a Yawn. Now, they can't afford to go for another Yawn here. Um, they probably switch out. If I had to guess what they were going to switch into, I would say Garchomp, potentially, or the Cyclozar again. Um, because Cyclozar is obviously a normal type, so it can be immune to the Shadow Ball. So, with that in mind... I'm going to go ahead and hard switch straight out into my uh, Iron Valiant, which is a risky play, but I feel like it'll pay off. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. And the reason I say it's risky is because the, 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 this Slowbro could easily just go for a Psychic right now and not care about the fact that it could potentially go down to a Skeleturge's Shadow Ball. So um, we switch out. They do withdraw. Are they going to go Cyclizar? Cyclizar would be ideal. Purple Hulk comes in. That thing. So that thing comes in. I do have a way of getting rid of the screens. I've got the Corviknight, so I think I'm going to go into Corviknight now. I think that's the best play. I'm going to go into Corviknight, and we're going to just, like, let him help the Reflect if it wants to. Let it go for a Fun Wave if it wants to, and I'll just go straight for a Defog and get rid of those screens, um, because they are just pesky. Pesky screens, to be honest with you. Pesky screens. So, Corviknight comes in. I don't want to get my uh, Iron Valiant paralyzed, of course, so that's the best course of action. As uh, they go for a Spirit Break, they just went straight for the attack. Not going to do much to Corvin, I'm afraid. And the Rocky Helmet damage should come in clutch here and get some, you know, a bit of chip damage on the uh, Grim Snarl. So that's great. So probably going to set up a Reflect here. I'm going to go straight for a Defog. They go for a Parting Shot. Absolutely fine. I don't really mind that too much. Um, getting the Defog off is going to be pretty important. So, you know, getting rid of that Light Screen. Because now, now whatever they go into, we've got a good opportunity to switch out. In comes Slowbro. So Slowbro is going to get that nice and powerful Regenerator up. Um, as we go for a defog now, getting rid of that light screen, which is great. There we go. Team's light screen wore off. As uh, now we just go straight for a U-turn into something else that can take a hit from this thing. So, if we expect to yawn, I might just stay in and go for a brave bird. I'm going to stay in and go for a brave bird because I'm fully expecting a yawn right now. So there's no point you turning out into something just for it to get um, yawns to death. So uh, they do go for the yawn, which is absolutely fine. Absolutely fine. Um, what do we have here to deal with this? So, neck crack, because why not? I wish they gave floats or flip turn. That would give it so much utility. Um, I'm going to go for a U-turn, just to get on out of there. I think uh, if they go for a yawn again, I think the best course of action is to just stay in with whatever the... Um, so, I'm, I'm going to look at my team now, and I'm going to think, what don't I mind being put to sleep that can potentially KO the Slowbro right now? And I'm thinking about it, and I'm going to go. I'm going to go with. I'm going to go with the um, goat. No. I want to go with Floatzel. Floatzel's not doing too much for us this game. Floatzel could be useful for later on down the line, though, against that Cerule Edge with the Aqua Jet. I'm, I want to go Skeledurge, but I'm worrying about a Surf. But if they go for Surf, it's fine. I think we go Skeledurge. I think we go Skeledurge. So let's go Skeledurge. Rockstar over here. There we go. Nice and powerful. They go for a Surf. That's fine. And um, we can take... Wow, they got a crit. That wasn't a crit. That wasn't a crit? Are you kidding me right now? That wasn't a crit? That did so much damage. Are you actually having a giraffe right now? Okay, so I'm going to go for a Slack Off because I'm fully expecting them to switch out right now. They're going to withdraw the Slowbro. We get off a nice and powerful Slack Off, which is great. Um, they go into the Cyclozar, which is absolutely fine. Absolutely fine. Slack Off's going to come through right now and get us some nice and powerful regeneration, which is great. We probably see us um, another instance of... Um, what do you call it? We, we'll probably see another instance of Shed Tail here. This time... This time, though, I'm going to Terror Blast Fairy. I think Terrestrial Fairy Skeleturge is going to be really helpful. They've got a Grimmsnarl, they've got the Slowbro, they've got the Cyclozar, they've got the Garchomp, the Electros I'm not too worried about, and they've got the, the, um, the uh, Cerule Edge, which would be nice. So I think going for this is going to be perfect here. So we'll Terrestrialize Fairy real quick. There we go. Nicely done, nicely done. Terrestrialize into a Fairy-type. There we go. Big love heart on our head. 
Gotta love it. Gotta love the fairy one. It does look really cool. I'm not like a big lovey-dovey person, but like I think it looks really cool. So they go for a taunt. Oh dear! That is not the play, my friend. That is not gonna work out for you at all. As we go for a terror blast, they're probably thinking dual, you know, our dual stab is resisted on immunity, so that's probably why they're thinking to taunt. We're gonna take out the Cyclozar though, which is absolutely amazing. So they go for the taunt, obviously stopping us from going for a slack off, which is probably what they thought we would do. Well, no, Skeleturge is over here to stay. In comes Purple Hulk, so this is absolutely fine. Purple Hulk comes in, and um, we just go straight for a Terror Blast again. It's going to do a lot of damage to them, even if they set up the light screen. Skeleturge has got a lot of power behind it, um, so it's definitely going to hurt. It won't KO, I don't think, um, but we'll go for it anyway and see what happens. There it is. Nice and powerful. There we go. That's what we like to see. So they probably go for a parting shot into the Cerule Edge now. So I'm going to go ahead and go for a Shadow Ball, anticipating that. They actually go for a Reflect. They just want to get their screens up while they're um, still alive, um, which is fair enough. So Shadow Ball probably won't KO. It might, actually. Doesn't KO, unfortunately. But I have no reason not to go for Shadow Ball over the... Um, over the... Um, what do you call it? Terror Blast. So I have no reason not to. They go for a parting shot. There we go. What are they going to go into though? That's the real question. So our attack and special attack does drop. And um, what can they go into to take a Shadow Ball though? The Slowbro is still around. So they could go into Slowbro. No, no, no. The Slowbro is not a good switch into Shadow Ball. What I'm talking about. Um, they probably go into, I would say, Electros or Garchomp here. Electros comes in. So what's Electros going to be doing here? So Electros... Typically, I would see, like, I don't know. Let's see how much the Shadow Ball does first. Nothing. Now, I know the Light Screen's up, and I know we've got a special attack drop, but that is still low, 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 low damage. So it's got to be Assault Vest. It's got to be Assault Vest. So I'm going to go into Goat, and we're going to start putting some hazards up because, we well, it's going to be useful having hazards up for a start. Um, we can definitely, like, we can stop it. We can make it to the Grim's. Just by having Stealth Rocks up, Grim Snark can not switch in and we can mark it off as a, a, a death. So they go for an Acid Spray, which is interesting. So Special Defense is going to drop harshly on us, which is a shame. They probably have Giga Drain, I would say. Maybe? I don't know. What would they have? Let's go for a Stealth Rocks anyway and get those up on the field. We won't worry too much about Spikes this game. Just getting the Stealth Rocks up is going to be really helpful. So there's the Acid Spray again. Not doing anything to us, of course. Um, <laughs> it's not doing anything at all. As we can go for a Stealth Rock now. Now I don't think they go for an Acid Spray. I think they go for something else, personally. Um, I don't want to go Corviknight. I know Corviknight's immune to the Acid Spray. I know we can defog away the light screen and protect and stuff like that. But um, I don't want to get hit by an Electric Attack. Plain and simple. Plain and simple. So, let's Whirlwind, actually. Let's Whirlwind. They go for a Giga Drain. That's going to hurt because of the acid, uh, acid Spray drops. But it's absolutely fine. Hopefully we can Whirlwind out into the Grim Style and get the KO on that. That would be ideal. So let's Whirlwind away. There we go. Lovely jovely. Let's see what we get brought out into. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. In comes the Slowbro. So the Slowbro comes in. That's fine. We can handle that. Slowbro is absolutely fine to come in. So what I'm going to do now is... I don't know what I'm going to do now. I don't know what I'm going to do now. I'm going to go into Floatzel. And the reason I'm going into Floatzel is because I want to get a taunt off on this thing. So they can't do the yawn shenanigans. So we're going to Floatzel real quick. I feel like they go straight for a Surf there just to get the damage off. They do go straight for the Surf. That's absolutely fine. Surf's going to do a lot of damage to us, to be fair. And um, the, re the reason I'm going to Floatzel is because, like I said, I can go for the taunt. We can stop the yawn shenanigans. We can stop it from going for a Slack off as well. And so I'll go straight for a taunt real quick. And also, if we can get the taunt on something else that comes in, that'd be ideal. There we go. Go for a taunt real quick. They probably did go for a yawn here. As um, they're going to go ahead and hit us with a nice and powerful grass knot. Wasn't expecting that. Kudos to my opponent. I was not expecting grass knot, slow bro. Was not expecting it at all. So Floatzel unfortunately goes down. It's absolutely fine though. We can still handle this slow bro, no problem. I, I do have the Skeledurge in the back, which we can go for a Shadow Ball with. Um, the light screen has just wore off that turn, so it's prime. You know, it's prime prime target for a Shadow Ball right now. So let's go ahead and go into Rockstar. There we go. Nicely done, nicely done. And we'll just go straight for a Shadow Ball. If they go into the um if they go into the um the Electros, so be it. They're gonna withdraw the slow bro. What are they gonna go into though? 
to take a shadow ball here. They're going to go into the Electros as expected. And um, they want to try and get off those acid spray um, shenanigans. So we'll go for a shadow ball real quick. And I am pretty sure this thing's an assault vest. We'll know in a second. Definitely assault vest. Definitely assault vest. Definitely assault vest. So with that in mind, I'm going to go back into Ting Lu. And the reason I'm going into Ting Lu is purely and simply because we need a switch in with Haxorus. That's what we need. A switch in with Haxorus would be perfect. Well, what we need to do is we need to weaken the Slowbro to the point where we can take it out. Obviously, we're going to get a special defense drop here, which is absolutely fine. I want to whirlwind it out. That's what I want to do here with the goat. I want to whirlwind out. So I'm thinking about getting the spikes back up. I'm really thinking about it. I feel like spikes would be really useful here. Let's go for the spikes. Let's get the spikes up. So they go for a Giga Drain. That's not going to KO us because it's not quite enough special defense drop. I kind of figured we would live that. Um, I didn't think we'd live it with five, but, you know, whatever. We'll go for a spikes real quick. There we go. And now I'm just going to let Tinglu go down to the next attack. So there we go. We go for another spikes. Obviously, it's not going to work because they're just going to attack us and KO us here. They go for a flamethrower, revealing they have got flamethrower, which is good to know. As, uh, unfortunately, Goat's going to faint there, so that's absolutely fine. And I would imagine this, their electric stab is either Thunderbolt or the um, or something else. So I'm going to go into Haxorus now. And the reason I'm going into Haxorus is because we need to start making some plays. We need to start cleaning up here. We really do need to start cleaning up. So, with that in mind, let's go Haxorus. And we'll just go straight for a Outrage. Because I would, I'm betting the Slowbro's got Surf. Psychic, Grass Knot, and Yawn. Or Surf, Grass Knot, Slack Off, and Yawn. So we don't have to worry too much about it. Um, I'm just going to click Outrage now and get a KO on something. If they bring Slowbro in, I guarantee you Slowbro will get two, sh two shotted after Spikes and Stealth Rocks. There we go. Go for an Outrage. It should get the KO on the um, Electros. There we go. Nicely done. Down it goes. There's not much that can come into a um, Haxorus right now, to be honest with you. Purple Hulk comes in. So Purple Hulk comes in gonna get down to the um we've got wow have we really came to the timer already i can't believe that so haxorus is on a roll right now haxorus is on a roll right now haxorus is on a roll right now in comes the slow bro so slow bro comes in that's absolutely fine now um hypothetically speaking then because we're not gonna have enough time for this battle we go for an outrage here let's see how much damage we do so there we go go for an outrage choice banded Actually one shots the slow bro. Oh my lord, Haxorus, you absolute monster. Absolute monster. And we're confused, which means we can switch out and reset it. So unless they can pull something back with the um Cerule Edge, which I don't think they can. I think we won this game. So Cynthia comes in. I think hypothetically speaking, we won this game. So that's, that's that's how I think uh, how I feel. So unfortunately, the timer once again claims another soul. We'll click outrage real quick. Obviously, the timer's run out. The battle is over. So, GG Instinct. That was a pretty fun game. I think we won that game. Hypothetically speaking, I mean it was a four and a two, so we definitely won by the game standard. Uh, thank you for watching today's video. If you did enjoy, of course, leave a like, subscribe, all the wonderful stuff. And with that being said, I'll see you all in a bit.